Join me as I take you on the challenge of cleaning my RV roof that's dirty, filthy, making it spotless with a minimum amount of effort. Here we go. When it comes to cleaning our RV roof, it's really four simple steps. You got to rinse it. You got to apply the clean, cleansing product. You have to scrub it and then you have to rinse it. For the cleaning products, I've used three. I've used Dawn dish soap. Works good. Household item. Probably have it underneath the kitchen sink now and it works. It works good. It's probably the cheapest way to go. The second one I used was Simple Green. Simple Green's good. Environmentally safe. I thought I'd give an RV cleaner, RV wash and sealer a try. It's also recommended for roofs. I use this product. It works. All these things, all these three products, the Dawn, RV wash and seal, and the Simple Green clean the roof very well. You already own this, no expense required. Simple Green, you can use it on multiple things around the house if you want. RV wash and seal, it's pretty much a one deal, one shot deal, either on your RV or maybe your cars. Um, this is the most expensive, followed by Simple Green, and followed by Dawn. Next year, or once, once I ran out of this, I'm using this. Okay, now we've got to figure out a way to get this product, and it's diluted. You've got to mix all of them with water. How you get it on your roof? Pressure sprayer. Fill it full of water, put the cleansing product in there, pump it up, squirt it on. Works good, safe, clean, you know where it is. You don't have to trip over it, no hoses. It's, it works good. And almost everybody has a pump up sprayer, so no cost. The next one's a bucket. Any bucket will do. It doesn't have to be a Home Depot bucket. You put your product in, you put your water in, you stir it together. Then you got to get some way to get it onto the roof. So you get a, a soft bristle brush, stick it in the bucket, mop it on. Again, most people have a bucket. You're going to have to make sure you have a soft bristle brush no matter which way you go. The third way, which is the way I'm going to show you the way I did this time, so I used a foam, I used a foam cannon to put on to, to apply the product onto my roof. I hooked it up to a um, pressure washer, pull the trigger, comes out in a foamy solution, goes all over. Um, I'm not sure this is the best way to do it because you got, you got a hose up there that you got to worry about tripping over. This is the pressure washer I use, it's 1700 PSI pressure, it's safe for your RV. When I use it with foam cannon, I get I do not get a high pressure sprayer. It does plug in, so you got to have electric outlet close. The one disadvantage of this is you got a hose, and the older you get, and the more stuff you have up on your roof, you add another tripping hazard. So those are the products I use. Um, I'll put links down below of how to use it or where to buy them. Uh, this this is a soft bristle brush. It's a Camco. Can also use water. You know, if you want, you can use water, which I would highly recommend. So these are the products I use. And the... So to wrap up, before we get up on the roof, you got your cleaning solution. You have your applicator, foam, or bucket. You, you scrub it, and then you rinse it off. Simple. Rinse it. You put the cleaning solution on it, you scrub it, and you rinse it. Simple as can be. Now let's get up on the roof and see how it looks. Okay, the very first thing that we need to do is we're going to get up here and we're going to inspect the roof and we're going to take pictures of it for you. <clears throat> as you can see, my roof's pretty clean. Yeah, right. It's about six months since I've cleaned it before, and let me tell you, it's dirty. It's really, really dirty. So it does need a good cleaning. You can see the die core. Um, is dirty here and we can get out swing over here we can see that the um, uh, solar panel is dirty I don't know how to keep those things clean and you need they need to be clean to generate electric more energy here we got the slide topper it's dirty also it, need, it needs to be cleaned and the back of the coach and you can see it's dirty filthy 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 dirty that's all I can say so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the foam attachment to the pressure washer and we're going to spray on the um, RV wash and seal 
Um, this product lifts up the dirt and, and removes it and loosens it so that we can uh, uh, later come back and do some scrubbing on it. As you can see, I'm foaming everywhere where there's dirt. I'm foaming the whole top of the coach, all the roof, all the products. And here I am scrubbing it with a soft bristled brush. This particular Camco brush uh, has the ability to hook up a garden hose so we can uh, flush the water with it and scrub off the dirt at, at the same time. This, this is a real nice feature for this brush. Uh, you can turn the water on and off and, and here you can see me scrubbing. Um, we're getting all the roof. We're getting, we're going both ways. Here we're getting some gutter. We're getting the awning lid. I don't, I, the awning lid. The awning. I don't know how the awning gets so dirty. It's just a little bitty little six inch strip, but it's amazing to me how much dirt and bird poop and everything else gets on there. But we're, we're just scrubbing the, uh, the dirt and washing the, uh, dirt away along with the, um, a cleaning solution. Uh, we want to make sure we get the die core good and clean. We scrub it well and softly and we want they're just it, it's just a real simple procedure when you really get down to the bottom bottom of it uh we, this needs to be done at least twice a year probably in reality here in the midwest probably need to do it three times a year just just because it gets to get so dirty and let me tell you what in reality it's a real simple process it takes me longer to get everything out and get set up than it actually does to actually clean it you know you, you put the cleaning solution on you scrub it with a soft bristle brush and you wash it off that's kind of the the bottom line of, of what you need to do to get your coach clean and your roof clean Well, as you can see, our roof is clean and the effort paid off. We appreciate you watching this video. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel. Well, until we meet around the campfire, y'all take care now. Bye-bye.